What's going on friends? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a makeup video and it is going to be a get ready with me today. I am getting ready to go see Jai Wolf in San Francisco and um, it's a little early in the day but it's gloomy so I have to take advantage of this lighting. Uh, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, we're gonna do foundation. I haven't worn foundation in a while because my skin was going through some some things, you know, I got some of that going on, I got some of that going on, I got some friends up here. Um, I'm trying to figure out something that has been causing my skin to react kind of uh, negatively, but um, I don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to say. We're just going to do a light coat of the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Very small pump. What's going on, people? What is going on? Lots going on on YouTube, huh? I normally don't follow a lot of like that YouTube drama stuff, but this last one was just so big that I couldn't ignore it. It was just, it was everywhere. I'm sure you guys know about the whole like James Charles Tati thing, oh my goodness. Stuff like that makes me miss the old days of just wholesome, chill videos. You know, just people doing makeup, doing what they love. Now it's so personal and like, but it's also a business and it's just, it gets kind of messy, but oh man, here I am, sitting on my room floor. <laughs> that evened out the skin tone pretty well, right? I love this foundation because it gives me coverage without feeling cakey, but it doesn't hide everything. Like you could still see some of those, some of these, all that, but it just makes me look more even. Okay, we're gonna go in with concealer now using Glossier, the stretch concealer. I feel like whenever there's like this spring transition, like from winter to spring, and then like this kind of lull from spring to summer, I always feel the least inspired for some reason. I just have like this huge lull during this season. <laughs> I don't know. Because there's not that much going on, there aren't really any holidays, and everybody's just kind of going about everyday life like normal. I haven't filmed like a, a lookbook in a while and I really miss doing that. <laughs> you know, this May weather, this rain is really weird. I haven't seen this uh, much rain in May in a while. This little guy is like super dark, so I don't know if we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna be able to cover him that well. <laughs> Since coming back from Coachella, everything's been pretty chill not much has been going on i did post my scrapbook video that was really exciting because um i love watching other people do uh put together scrapbook pages and um like bullet journaling and all that kind of stuff but um i don't have that kind of i don't have the tools or the space to really do like a proper setup so i never really wanted to do it but um one day i was just sitting around and i'm like i need to do something and i just kind of set up this camera contraption and it looked real funny. Next time I set it up, I'm probably gonna take a picture to show you guys because it looked crazy. But yeah, paper crafting was one of my first loves. I started scrapbooking when I was really young, around 7th grade, 6th or 7th grade, yeah. And that way you guys get to see all aspects of my interest other than fashion, beauty, and eating. <laughs> Okay, now be brow. Still using this Anastasia pomade. I feel like I kind of almost want to go back to using pencils just because they're so much easier. But um, there is so much of this pomade left that it's kind of a waste if I don't use it. I mean, this, yeah, this, this is a lot. So did you guys see ColourPop's new watermelon collection for their um, fifth birthday? Oh my goodness. I'm not going to buy anything from the collection, but I was inspired to use a lot of red on my eye. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette, but I, I just don't use it enough because I'm so basic and I just use like the same like one eyeshadow every day. <laughs> but I'm excited to use this. I'm going to use Venetian Red. This one, all over the lids. It is a, it's like a... How would you say it? Like a berry red? And it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna use the brush, the dual ended brush that came with the palette. I'm gonna use the fluffier side. I'm gonna go in. It's really pigmented, so make sure you guys tap off the excess and work little by little. When I work with the uh, eyeshadows that are really pigmented, that um, this doesn't have, like when you tap into this, a lot of 
fallout happens. I think because the um, powder is so fine that it kind of just kicks up a lot. I don't just go in and like start swiping right away. I kind of press it down and then I blend and swipe. You know what that whole um, YouTube drama thing happening, it really made me think about uh, the kind of videos that I like seeing from creators and um, some of my most uh, some of my most recent favorites are the ones where they do get ready with me, get ready with me and um, they take you out. So there's like a little bit of like a vlog portion in the end. And I like that you get to kind of hang out and do the makeup part. And then you also get to see their personal life and what they do outside of their bedroom or their studio or whatever. But yeah, um, sometimes vlog, you can get kind of numb to watching vlogs because they're just like constantly doing something or the camera is always in their, you know, personal lives, everyday life. And um, like I said, you can get kind of numb and you can start, kind of start like just leaving it there and tuning it out. But something like this seems a little bit more engaging because um, you're watching someone do their makeup, but then the vlog portion isn't so long in the end that um, you get kind of like distracted with something else. So I like watching this kind of format. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Okay, we're gonna go real simple. Just one, one eyeshadow all over the lid. And now I'm gonna take the smaller side of that brush and I'm gonna go in with the color Vermeer, which is a, a shimmery, uh, pinky, light pinky color right there. And that is gonna go in the inner corner and blend it up here a little bit onto the lid. Okay, we're gonna move on to another palette. This one actually has a black in it, which I need, the Naked 2 palette. I'm gonna take the dual-ended brush that it came with and use the flat side to do um, an eyeliner because I'm not gonna wear actual eyeliner. And then whatever I have left on the brush, I'm gonna take it to the outer half, the bottom lid, just a little bit. I feel like I haven't filmed a makeup video in so long that I, like, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't even know what to say, how to be. So it's just kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm going to take my powder brush and kind of move any fallout that might have happened. Okay, normally I would go into the mascara right away, but I'm going to let the eyeshadows kind of sit and uh, get friendly and do the rest of the face first. I'm going to use bronzer. This is one of two bronzers that I have. <laughs> <laughs> this one and I have the hula bronzer. I really want to challenge myself and do like a real bronzy glow look. I feel like smoky eyes and like a bronzy glow, glow were the most popular makeup uh, videos when YouTube first started coming out. Everyone wanted to do a smoky eye. Everyone looked like everyone wanted to look like a bronze goddess. And um, I realized that I don't think I've ever done like a bronzy look. I mean, I don't really need no, I don't really even know how I'm gonna start doing that. So I'll probably have to watch <laughs> some makeup tutorials for inspiration. Gonna do the cheeks. I kind of want to do or attempt to do a um, like a blended melted watercolor type uh, blush. So I'm gonna use two colors. I'm gonna use an orangey one. So I'm gonna use something maybe from this side and then try to blend it in with something on this side, more reddish color here. So this is the NYX palette. <laughs> maybe, hmm, if I really want to go intense, maybe I should just do these two, the ones right next to each other. Let's lay the orange color down first and see how that goes. Let's do it a little higher and toward the front. It's cute. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the darker red color right next to it. And I'm gonna go lower on the cheeks and bringing it back. Does that do anything? Can you see a difference? Yeah, you can, right? Oh! Alrighty, next is going to be highlight. This is uh, ColourPop Glazed. It is one of their like tie-dye ones. <laughs> and this is the small fluff brush. I love using this brush. I was gonna say blush. I love using this brush to apply highlight. Okay, we're gonna go back to the eyes and do uh, mascara. I'm gonna use my Shiseido eyelash curler, and this is still the only mascara that I've been using. I need to get a new one. It is definitely time for a new one. 
but I'm deciding whether I want to do um, like a high-end mascara or just go back to like using drugstore because I hear the L'Oreal one's really good so I might just get that one hmm. alrighty and to finish everything off of course the lips I'm going to use the uh, blotted lips what is these called yes the ColourPop blotted lips are these still on the website I'm gonna have to check but um, I love this color it is called Bee's Knees it is a very uh red reddish berry it kind of matches this eyeshadow a little bit so that's why i'm using it but um the color isn't very strong it's sheer so you can definitely bring this around reapply it won't get clumpy and gross later if you keep reapplying it i actually have some um chapstick on my lips so i'm gonna take that off right now you see how like you can swipe it like that and it's not gonna be too overwhelming it deposits just enough color Okay, and make sure your lips look really healthy too. Oh, look at that. And there we have it, friends. The makeup look for today. I will take you guys out now. Oh, I am in my Justin Timberlake concert shirt. Look at him. Say hi, Justin. <laughs> True at home tutorial in my jammies, in my room, on my floor, keeping it real. This whole this is a bed sheet. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys out now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, totally missed you. Oh. <laughs> wow, this angle is not cute. Anyways, we just got gas. Yes. And now we're on our way to Dad Wolf and Draftage. <laughs> okay, we're actually gonna switch because he's gonna drive here. <laughs> you want to do it? No. Let me do it. I was already on the other side. Oh, the lighting's kind of bad. Okay, here we go. So we parked, and before we go to the show, we actually got dinner. Yes. Would you care to show us what dinner we got? Oh, my we little got... elephant. Ari Rang, correct? Ari, Aria. 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 Korean fried chicken. Korean fried chicken. Look at that. Mm. Uh, fried chicken with sar uh, garlic soy on the side. Ooh. Yeah. And then the other thing that we got. It rhymes with. Bimbap. The hand song, Hanson, Hanson song. Kimbap. Mm. <laughs> this is bulgogi kimbap. That's a lot. Ooh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Fire. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Bye. Okay. We're on our way to get Boba! It's still bright out, even though it's like 8 o'clock. 